Yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys coming out. It was uh, exciting to get back on the field. It's been a long time. Uh, a lot of anxious players and coaches to get back out here and do what we love to do. So uh, the, they did a great job for the first day. There's going to be a ton to clean up, and that's uh, to be expected. Uh, the work, the work ethic was really, really good. Uh, the energy was good. Their focus was good. We just, we got a lot of work to do. So we have a limited number of spring practices, and uh, we'll be excited to get back out here again Friday. Do you gonna have to rebuild this from the ground up, uh, given the, the difference in style? No, I don't. We don't look at it like that at all. We're just excited to get back out here and work with the players and uh, learn them, uh, you know, as people and as players, so we can. Uh, put those guys in the best position we can to be successful. Since you got here uh, and kind of all through today, what have you found out about your team? What do you uh, know about your team? Yeah, it's hardworking guys that care, and uh, that's a great start. So we're excited about that, and just you know, it's one practice, so we're, we're, there's a lot to a lot to learn and a lot to practice. So, what do you what do you want to accomplish in the spring? Well, implement the systems, learn the language, right? Uh, learn the techniques and the fundamentals to play those systems. That's why today we spend a ton, a ton of time separate offense and defense. Uh, so you can, the teaching part of it is going to be huge. Um, you know, growing our football intelligence, learning the game within the game, you know, uh, situational football, back sets, formations, all the things that really matter. Uh, and then just build, building our team culture and and becoming this year's team and and finding out what our strengths and weaknesses are and who the the guys that are kind of step up and that's the exciting part did you utilize both fields or did you keep everyone over here we use both fields uh, but just a few players use the other one yeah you've been through dozens of these as an assistant what was it like day one as a head coach oh, it was exciting just to be involved with all the different assets, offense defense special teams so that was really uh, it was energizing and and just seeing the, the coaches work and the players work that was fun do you, you see yourself going back and forth or, or with your defensive background do you, you think you'll be on that side yeah. of the 50 most of the time yeah naturally uh, but again it was exciting to go over and uh, be around the o-line and the, and the quarterbacks and the receivers and watch those guys work to get a feel for our players and and uh, so that was fun but just by nature just having that background there'll be a a little bit more on the defense. Sure. You've had obviously you have Tony Chiotti coaching the outside linebackers. Who's going to be dealing with the inside guys? Tim Deruder. Who's going to be dealing with running backs? That would be Bo. Correct. What are you looking to get out of spring with the quarterback situation? For them to come, just like the everybody else, come in here and, and learn the systems and grow our football intelligence and uh, you know the techniques and fundamentals that it takes to play that position and let them compete. Not necessarily come out with the number one, but if it happens, great. Yeah, I mean, that's just, we got a long way to go before we even discuss that, yeah. yeah. How do you, do you, will you be dividing things up evenly with the guys at this point? Yeah, or? everybody will get the uh, equal number of reps, yeah. Well, it's like being back here with some familiar faces, obviously with Bud uh, out yeah. there and, and Adam Duritz in the stands. Does it feel yeah, a little bit like 03? <laughs> yeah, I mean, parts of it, again, you know, Cal, and there's so much that's the same, but obviously the... Uh, some of the facilities and the players are different, but it, it was fun to get back out here. There's no doubt about that. You mentioned kind of instilling your, your culture and what you wanted to see about this team. Are there any specifics you can hit on on what, what you do to kind of change that culture? Well, it's not, you know, there's a lot of things these guys do that are, are really good. And I think it's just building our team uh, from the inside out and around our players and, you know, the intangible things that it takes to be successful. Um, and those are... That, that's a daily, that's the way you operate daily, you know, your actions, your behaviors, uh, how, we, how we work out, how do we go to meetings, how do we go to school, how do we treat people uh, on this, you know, on campus, just how do we live, and that's, um, you know, it's a ch we just want to challenge ourselves every day and raise the bar in that regard, and, uh, but, it, but again, I, there's a lot of great kids on this team, and we're excited to, to watch those guys grow. Notice Davis Webb is still kind of hanging around uh, here. Have you interacted with him much at all? Who's that? Davis Webb. The, the yeah, got a chance to meet Davis. Yeah. What, is he just kind of hanging around and watching, or is he? Is he yeah, just came to practice. To, yeah, he, he did a great job here, and we're excited to have him at practice. Yeah.